Good morning. You are listening to Upreach, a morning devotional presented by the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee, to encourage you as you face the opportunities and challenges of today. Let's begin this day together with some inspiring thoughts from God's Holy Word. Though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again the first principles of the oracles of God, and you have come to need milk and not solid food. For everyone who partakes only of milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But solid food belongs to those who are of full age, that is, those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Hebrews chapter 5, verses 12 through 14. There are at least some of us who underrate people very badly indeed. We often underrate children. I once heard some grandparents say, We quite certainly underrated our granddaughter Karen's intelligence on one occasion, and we underrated her ability to take what we thought would be news that she wouldn't like. Perhaps we sometimes keep from children what they could perfectly well be told. Sometimes we do not even try to explain to children that which they could perfectly well understand. We often brush off a child's question to which we might well give a straight and honest answer. One of the worst faults in our bringing up children and our teaching of children is that we underrate their intelligence and their power to take things. There are many preachers and teachers who completely underrate their congregation. There are very few preachers who make any attempt to pass on to their congregations any of the results of modern scholarship or modern thought. And the main reason for this failure is, bluntly, that they are afraid to do so. So long as they do the thing positively, and so long as they do not deal in destructive negatives, their fears will nearly always be quite unjustified. Well over a quarter of a million people bought John Robinson's scholarly book, Honest to God, and practically no one would buy a normal book of sermons, if any publisher would even publish one. People want honesty. They want to be treated as theologically and intellectually mature. They want to know how the case stands and what a person thinks. I do not wish to tread on dangerous ground, nor do I wish to confound legitimate criticism with conceit, but I am bound to say that this seems to me especially true of broadcast and televised preaching. There is here given to the church an incalculable weapon of systematic Christian education, and yet so often a preacher spends the precious moments trying to be entertaining rather than informative. As the writer to the Hebrews sees so long ago, there is nothing worse than feeding someone with milk when he needs strong meat and of making babies out of adult men and women. Hebrews chapter 5, verses 12 through 14. What about you today? Do you hunger and thirst for the depths of knowledge and wisdom made available to you in the inspired Word of God? Are you ready to be challenged by its truths? Are you sometimes guilty of underrating friends and family members with regard to that for which they too may be craving? Why not ask God today for a renewed determination to both know His will and to share it with others? This has been Upreach, a presentation of the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee. I am Kyle Bolton, the pulpit minister at Church Street, and I would like to personally invite you to come and share times of Bible study and worship with us each week. We meet every Sunday at 9 o'clock a.m. for our morning worship, followed by our Sunday school for all ages at 10.15 a.m. Then we meet again at 6 o'clock p.m. for our evening worship. We also have a midweek meeting for devotion and Bible study on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. I hope to see you there. Have a blessed day. Was it a morning like these When the sun still hid from Jerusalem